everyone, if you want to know how to install a Windows 8.1 through USB drive and how to copy a Windows 8.1 ISO files through in USB, so stay tuned this channel. For my Urdu and Hindi friends, guys, if you want to know how to install Windows 8.1 USB through USB, and how to copy a file in USB, then stay with me. This is Danish from Damini Studio. Okay, most of the time we have created an issue how to install a Windows right because sometimes our CD was corrupted and our CD ROM was out of the order so today I will show you how to install Windows through USB and how to copy a file through USB drive it's a very simple procedure you just follow my instructions so I have to go at desktop so be with me hello everyone this is Danish and you are watching Damien studio okay today we're gonna share a how to install Windows 8 to a USB drive or a flash drive so uh, just follow these steps right now first we have to go and got to know that how to copy Windows 8 file to your USB so go this uh, go to your browser okay and there is a website that is rufus.akeo.ie right this is the website you just go there Okay, go and download this Rufus 2.11. This is the latest version right now. Maybe once you will download, there is some other version 2.2 or 2.3. So just download this file as you see. The, this file is downloading right now. Okay, just click on this file. Yes. Okay, now actually my USB is not plugged in. I am just plugging my USB. Now I have plugged my USB. As you see, as soon as I plug my USB, they got all the default setting: device, 8 GB, you know, NTFS, set everything as a default. Okay put these two passes okay now uh, go and give the uh, a location for your windows 8 iso files where you can download maybe you download on your download your tab or you know uh, documents folder i have with my e drive for windows 8 Okay, this this is the ISO files of Windows 8 and uh, everything done. I just click on the start. Then will, okay, they're asking me. Okay, okay. Now th what they are doing? They are trying to uh, making my USB my USB drive as a bootable drive, right? So it takes I think 45 minutes to copying these things. Then we will go forward to uh, see uh, how to uh, uh, go to the BIOS and uh, select boot order. Remember, in first part, in first position, your USB drive will be for, uh, will be on your boot drive because you have to install your Windows through your USB drive. It's still downloading. Uh, as you can see, the total windows is 2.7 GB so you know, uh, we have to wait when it will complete the download so now it's going to an end and uh, wait when it will complete okay that's great as you can see the download has been completed right and uh, do not click now start because if you click on the start uh, so it will ask you to again copy uh, you know the file on the USB drive so we have already did this so just cancel it okay and uh, what we will do now I'm going to remove my USB drive and then I will go to the BIOS I will show you how to set up the uh, your first drive uh, on you know your USB drive and on a bootable drive system goes F10 some goes system goes F8 my HP goes to 2 F10 so now it's going to the setup on BIOS I have to change the boot let's check there's English press enter and 
go boot on be sure that you, if you are installing the windows uh, through usb so be sure that your usb should be on number one so it is written on it you know uh, select if you want me to uh, go down usb on the second number so you can just put the arrow but i do i don't want usb on a second i want a usb on a first number because i am uh, you know i'm uh, installing the windows through the flash drive usb so f10 and save the changes it is written in escape you know, be sure that the usb on the number one f10 accept now go files save changes and exit okay press boot press any key to boot the system just press any key from your keyboard now this is the windows logo and uh, it takes some time so just wait as you see welcome screen is turned on now they are asking me about the language there is too brightness too much brightness on the computer the screen is maybe it's too difficult to now you can see asking me about the language first my language is English second they are asking a language install yeah can install an English language please next and then install okay so it is starting right now okay right now there's agreement we have to accept this license agreement click next I would recommend go and custom install if you go with the upgrade one so you know there is no use to upgrade they, they were just there's no use so I recommend go custom install and just format okay I have to format to format this this is actually the, my C drive so I am what I'm doing is I'm go going to delete this partition the partition might contain important files application and computer yeah. so I said okay I know this thing now now I'm creating this files with the new one because I really need it okay that's great I can do format right but what I did I delete my C drive then I created the new one if you can do and go with the format one you can do you can do that okay so other drive remain the same because I have couple of the important data is available on the uh, other two and three drives so let, let it be and go next select this one and go next now it's copying files takes you know, some time so let's see how much time it will take okay. so guys files files are also copied installing features and updates has been done now we are in the uh, finishing process Starting system, we want to just click on the restart now. Now it's restarting the computer. Now do not press any key, okay? Because we have already been set up. Now we are on next step. So just go move on. now it's been started and they are asking example PC name damn studio damn. oh my god you may you can use any name you want okay damn it I want to put it my name my channel name right so just put the next Setting 
graphics use express settings uh, customize so i think use uh, uh, check on the use express setting checking your internet connection okay for my uh, hindi and uh, urdu uh, friends for you guys uh one simple procedure सबसे पहले क्या करना है कि एक रोफोस एक वेबसाइट है उधर जाना है और रोफोस एक सॉफ्टवेयर हमें डाउनलोड करना है वो डाउनलोड इसलिए करना है क्योंकि हमें अपनी फ्लैश ड्राइव हमें अपनी यूएसबी को बूटेबल डिवाइस बनानी है जो हम उस रोफोस सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू जो है वो बना सकते हैं सही है तो हम जो है उस हमने उस रोफोस सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू उस रोफोस को डाउनलोड किया जो आपने इस वीडियो में देखा उसको डाउनलोड करने के बाद हमने जो है पहले तो सारी सेटिंग्स जो थी वो बाय डिफ़ॉल्ट थी लेकिन जब हमने अपनी फ़ाइल असाइन करी जो हमने विंडोज़ 8.1 की जो फ़ाइल असाइन करी थी आई फाइल जैसी वो असाइन करी तो आपने देखा होगा कि विंडोज़ ने एकदम से जो है उस फाइल्स की जो है वो सारी डिटेल्स जो है वो एक्सेप्ट कर ली इस यू नो यू एस बी ड्राइव को एक बूटेबल डिवाइस बना दी जिसके बाद से हमने अपना पूरा आगे का प्रोसेस किया जो आपने देखा बहुत सिंपल इट्स बीन सेटिंग अप माय अकाउंट फाइनलाइजिंग योर सेटिंग and move forward now you are now finalizing your uh, settings and uh, okay this is something you know what install okay install it finalizing your settings because they are asking about the drivers ethernet drivers you know everything they are checking it so guys this is that this is done i uh, i am stopping this video right now i hope you like this video Please do comment, share, and if you do not understand anything, please do let me know. I will put all the uh, you know important links on the descriptions. And uh, for more videos, please uh, come uh, to my channels and subscribe me. And please do share this video. Thank you.